Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sun. Today we're going to be naming some angles, okay? Which seems like an easy task, but it actually is much more annoying and difficult than you think sometimes. All right? So if we're naming the angle, there are two things that you can actually name an angle if it only has the two rays forming it, all right? In this case, you could call it angle M, all right? And you could spell out the word angle if you wanted to, but you can only do that if, if, it is the only angle there. I could not do it here on my number 13 because see how the V is right here? And we have angle five and angle six. So you couldn't call this just angle V, all right? So another way to call this angle is angle L, M, N, where you go from L to M to N. And another, another way you could call it is just going the other way around, N, M, L. All right, all three of those are appropriate. The bottom two are probably a little bit more appropriate, but the top one is the lazy answer, and you can get away with it some of the time, not all of the time. It is also asking for the sides of each angle. Well, the sides would be the ray M, L, so I put a dot from the M because that is where the dot of the angle is, and the arrow above the L because that is the direction of the ray, and the ray, MN, um, but that's not the main point of this video, all right? So, here we go. Um, draw and label an angle to fit each description. An obtuse angle, angle Y. Okay, so an obtuse angle is one that is bigger than 90, and we would call it a Y in the middle. You could throw in some other things like a, another X and a Z if you wanted to, but you didn't have to. Versus an acute angle called JIH, an acute angle is smaller, it's a cutie, than um, 90, and you gotta start with a J, and then go to I in the middle, and then H. Throw the rays, if you wanna be more precise, you put dots for those J, I, and H. And then a right angle, angle three, so a right angle forms a 90 degree angle, and it would be appropriate to put in that little box indicating that this is 90 degrees and perpendicular to each one, and we can put in a three here to note that that is angle three. A straight angle is a fancy way of saying a line, a line, and we have D in the middle, we have C, and we have E. And we can throw the arrows there. Notice how this is forming 180 degrees because that is what a line is. You don't need to fill in the angle there. That was just me embellishing. All right. Name all the angles that have V as a vertex. Now, this is where a lot of students sometimes get lost. All right. So we do have angle 6 as an angle with V in the vertex. Okay. So angle 6 is equal to angle H. V in the middle, I. Angle five on the other side is equal to a vertex with V in the middle. It is equal to angle J, V, I. You could also flip the order and write I, V, J. And lastly, we have the entire angle, which would be angle five and six put together. You don't necessarily need to write angle five and six put together, but that entire angle still has V in the middle. And that would be called angle H, V, J. Notice how none of these angles I can call angle V. I cannot do that, that is a big no-no, because angle V relates to all three of these, and it has V in the middle for all three. So if you just said angle V, you'd be like, well, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the big one? Are you talking about angle five or angle six? We don't know, all right? So that's why we have to do it that way. So. Do another one of those. Uh, let's do, let's do let's do this one over here. All right, we got angle three is equal to V in the middle, which would be angle V, not V F V E, and we would also have angle two has V in the middle, which would be equal to angle D V E, and of course again you can say E V D. You don't have to do it in this order. You just have to make sure V is in the middle. And lastly, you can do the entire angle. The entire angle would be angle F, V, D, or angle D, V, F. Making, oh, oh my gosh, I said D instead of 
Wow, I can't read it all. F V D. F V D. Making sure V is in the middle. See, sometimes you can just mess up by reading wrong. All right, quick thing at the very end. It says state whether each point is interior, exterior, or on the angle. Well, B P is outside of the angle. This part right here, this would be considered the inside of the angle. So this would be considered the outside. All right. Versus here, this would be considered the inside of the angle. And versus here, this would be considered on the angle. All right. So that's just a kind of a weird skill over right here. But that's going to do it for this one. It is a quick one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, everybody, stay positive, and I will see you all later. Bye.